I thought I'd do a short video on the varying throttle layout options that are available in Engine Driver. Um, I recently had a conversation with somebody and it was quite clear that some some features that are, uh, have been available for a very long time aren't necessarily obvious. Um, so I'm just going to go through all of the different throttle uh, layouts uh, and talk about them. Um, and I'm going to start off by, by going through the intro. So when you first installed Engine Driver, you would have seen the intro setup, uh, or the intro setup wizard, as it's called there, and you can get back to it, as you saw, at any point in time. As long as you're on the connection screen, you can get back to that intro setup wizard. And it's no different to changing the preferences, um, but um, it's got a little bit more visual aspect to it than, than using the preferences. So by default, if you've done nothing, you would have gotten the, the, the default layout, uh, sorry, uh, the default theme, and I'm not going to talk about themes today, but I'm actually going to set it over to the high con or the outline theme because it's a little easier to read, um, certainly on, in these videos. Um, and you would have then selected the throttle screen layout, and if you've done nothing, it would have gone with the horizontal or default one, and you would have said um, not to, to add the, the, um, the buttons, the speed buttons. So we're going to start off with that. Uh, and see what that looks like. So if I connect, so by default I've got two throttles and they're on a horizontal layout. Um, if I actually select a loco in here it'll make it easier to see what's going on. Um, well actually they're, they're not bad examples because I've got sound. Okay, so and I'll select another one down here. Okay, so I've got two horizontal throttles and I can use the sliders um, to, to change their speed and I can see all of my function buttons by using those scroll regions for the buttons. Uh, this layout supports up to three throttles so let's go and add the extra one in here so if we go into preferences and go into number of throttles I've got three so I'll choose that and there's my third option down here so I'll add another one in here so there's my three throttles. Um, all of those little function area scrolling regions can be used so I can get to all of my, my function buttons. Um, the other couple of options that are available in here that may not be obvious, um, because on a small screen that slider region can be a little bit difficult to work with, you can increase that area. Um, so if we go back into preferences and speed slider and button preferences, I can increase the slider height back out. So that's now a bit fatter. You can see I've lost a lot of uh, the area that I've got from my function buttons. So using the, that particular feature on a small screen with three throttles is, a, is kind of pushing it a bit. You know, it's a little difficult to use unless you don't have any um, sound options and you're not too worried about it. So if I just take that number down to two, you'll see it's a little bit easier to deal with. So i still got some access to my function buttons, but I've got a nice big fat um, slider. The next option or thing that I can add or change to that is the speed buttons, the thing that was in that um, uh, the setup wizard. Um, so I'm going to add them back in, speed slider and, and button preferences, and I'm going to display the speed buttons. So now I can not just use the, um, the slider, but I can use those buttons and they will tick their way up or, or progress or, or um, gradually move up to the, the, um, the where you want the speed to be. Um, so you can just tap away it or you can press and hold. Similarly, by the way, you can press and hold on the, um, the slider. If I do that, it will step its way up to the point that I've, um, I've got, oh, I'm holding down. So if I hold it there, it'll jump down. There is an option to jump down uh, rather than um, uh, step down, but by default out of the box it will step up and step down for, to where you're actually pressing and holding. Okay, so that's um, that's the horizontal layout which is the first in this. I'm going to change it back up to three just to show something. So just to show you see that I've got my three, go back into preferences um, and I go into the throttle layout so this is the other way to get to that. So that was the first one we looked at. I'm going to switch over to the vertical layout and it's immediately given me a warning message to say that the vertical layout only supports two. And that's what those little numbers in the brackets after each of those represent. That can support one to three, this can only support two, two and only two, one and only one, and so on. 
So we'll go through this one, this one, the vertical layout only supports two. So, and I come out of preferences, it show, it gets there, and I've got the, um, exactly the same feature, but it's, it's vertical rather than horizontal. And those buttons that I just turned on before, I can turn them off if I don't like them in the vertical layout. And certainly if you've got a very, very small screen, um, it, it may be worthwhile getting uh, turning off the speed buttons. These two regions are scrollable, so I can get to all of my function buttons. Um, but otherwise, it, it works in exactly the same way. Uh, I've currently got this set so that you can't change direction while uh, moving, but that, that's a feature that can be turned on uh, or off. Actually, let's go back and, and get in and have a look at that one. So under preferences, uh, the direction button preferences, um, I'm in the wrong place. There you go. Uh, right. Throttle control. Okay. So direction change while moving. That's the option that's there that we're, we're looking at. So if I turn that, tick that on, I can now have that, um, I can change direction while I'm moving. If I have that ticked off, then it will, I'm forced to, to slide it down to stop before I can actually, um, before I'm allowed to do that uh, change of direction. Okay, so that's the vertical layout. So let's move on to the next one. Which is big buttons left. And now this one only supports one, so it's warning me that I've, I've been reduced to one. It will rearrange. And now I don't have a slider at all. Uh, a number of the other layouts allow you to, to disable the slider in the same way that you can turn off on and off the speed buttons. But this was very, very deliberately ar ar arranged around either very small screens with there's simply not enough space to put the slider, or people that are um, a little bit, well, fingers are a bit big and they just want something that they can't really miss so it's really it's big buttons right across the board um, and it's really just a yeah click up click down you don't, you have, don't have a slider um, and you have a scrolling re region again for your function buttons um, the next one in the list um, by the way that particular layout and this this one I'm, I'm the, the right hand one which is exactly the same just mirrored um, both of these don't have the option to turn off the, um, the, the the speed buttons, obviously, because you have to have the speed buttons for these two. So it behaves the same way. It's just whether or not you're left or right-handed, or whether or not you prefer to hold the, the your phone in your left or right hand. There's plenty of people that, that are right-handed that will use uh, the um, the phone in the left and leave their right hand free for unpicking, uncoupling, that sort of thing. Uh, moving right along. So the next one in the list is the vertical left. Uh, we come out of there, and it only supports one as well. And you notice it's kind of similar, except that we do have a slider. The button sizes are, um, are reduced and a little more manageable. Um, and I can turn on or off the speed buttons if I wish, the same as the, um, the horizontal layout. This is a scrolling region, but I don't have enough buttons here to allow it to scroll. But if there were more, that you'd be able to scroll to get to them. Next one. So vertical right is just the mirror of the one we just looked at. Uh, it's probably the one I use um, second most. The most, uh, most I commonly used when I use is the dual verticals, but that's a, um, a well, dual vertical switching, which we'll, we'll get to in a second. OK, moving right along. So vertical switching, which as I said, is probably the one I use the most, has two and only two um, throttles. So, um, and it's quite different in that the other ones have a your 0 to 100 slider and or buttons um, and you have a forward and reverse button to change direction whereas this one you move forward by going beyond the middle point you go back or reverse by going be below the middle point and you get a bit of an indication up here as well um, so that that's 100% forward I can step down, and stepping by pressing and holding works the same way. And there are options as to how you can change uh, to uh, how quickly it steps through those speeds, by the way. But I won't go through those there in this particular video. Uh, and again, I've got a scrolling region for my function buttons. And as I said, yeah, I can turn off the uh, speed buttons if I wish. 
Next one in the list, and well, the next two in the list are basically a single throttle version. There's my warning that's changing down to one. So, so this is my left hand version. Uh, the same thing, single throttle. Again, that's a scrolling region. I uh, just don't have enough buttons to show it. Otherwise, it behaves the same way. And the next one is the right handed version of the same thing. Okay. Next one is the horizontal version of the switching layout. So uh, it supports between one and three. So let's let it, it defaulted to one because the last layout I used had one in it. But I can let's I can bring it up to two or three. But let's uh, have a look at two. And I've still it pays attention to whether or not I have set the um, speed buttons on. It pays attention to whether or not I've increased the size of the, um, the the slider area. So it's showing the buttons and it's got the increased slider area and it works the same way. And there's my indicator to say I'm going forward, there's my indicator to, to say that I'm going back, um, and I've got stop. Um, selecting the loco, of course, all that sort of thing doesn't change for all, all of the layouts. Uh, and as I said, I can bring make, can get that down to one throttle or up to three throttles, and again, these are all scrolling regions. And then the last layout on the list, um, the simple layout, um, so it was intended for throttle for uh, tablets, uh, but it will work on a phone. And I'm just going to show you that now. It's just it's a bit squished on a phone, uh, as you can see there. Uh, you can run therefore up to six locos on your phone. I don't necessarily recommend it. Um, and as you can see, I've got these tiny little forward and reverse buttons, which are a little bit difficult to work with. But there's my three locos that I've got, and I can select additional ones. Um, and away I go. <coughs> what you do notice out of this is, and it's the only one that by default does not show any function buttons, so I can't get to my, to my functions. However, there is an option to do that. So, see, it, this option only works for that simple layout, and it's here under this function button area size. Um, and I can set that, and I'll start with by setting it to 1 have a look at it. So now I've got a tiny little area, which is a scrolling region in its own right, uh, which can be a little bit tricky to, to work with a scrolling region that small, but I can use my functions. And again, as I said, it's really squished. It's not really designed to, to work on a phone. Um, you can probably, maybe four might be workable, but six is certainly a bit, bit of a stretch. But anyway, I can increase that area all the way up to four. Where are we? Function button area size. I'll set it at 3 just for the moment, but it can go up to 4. And you can see I've got a bit more space to work with. 3 is kind of nice because it gets you your, your basic lights, bell, whistle. But it means I've got a very, very small scrolling area uh, to uh, a slide, a, a speed slider in there. And it's, yeah, it's not pretty. Um, you know, if I bring that down to 4, as I said, it'll probably look a little better. There you go, which is, that's kind of tolerable, at least at four. Um, but yes, if you want all your function buttons up, you've got very little room to play with for your uh, your speed sliders and speed buttons. But anyway, it's up to you. As I said, to better on a tablet. Um, okay, that's the last of the, um, the, the throttle screen layouts that we currently support.